be able to mm -hmm. do that in a couple of minutes. We will. Is the sound turned on? Oh, I hear that woodpecker. Is your sound turned down on your phone? Are you? Mine's, no, are you? mine's not live. Oh, you're. Oh, okay. Are you going to use? Well, I can. Well, I can. I can give it. You going to give it? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, good morning, Amanda, and Kay, and Trisha, and Sherry, everybody else. This is, uh, today we celebrate the transfiguration of our Lord, and it's the day after we, Verita and I, celebrated our 42nd wedding anniversary. And we are coming to you from Redosa, New Mexico. So this morning we would like to start off our time together uh, with a song of praise from hymn number 381. Thy strong word did cleave the darkness. Hymn 381. Thy strong word did cleave the darkness. At thy speaking it was done, for created light we thank thee, while thine ordered seasons run. Alleluia, alleluia, praise to thee who light us. Alleluia, 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 without end. Lo, on those who dwelt in darkness, dark as night and deep as death, Broke the light of thy salvation, breathe thine own life-giving breath. Alleluia, alleluia, praise to thee who light does send. Alleluia, 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 without end. Thy strong word, peace, speaks us righteous, right with thine own holiness. Glorious now we press toward glory, and our lives our hopes confess. Alleluia, alleluia, praise to thee who light does send. Alleluia, 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 we and God the Father, light creator, to 
from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, please turn with us to page 79 for the confession of sin. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Let's say together the Venite, found on page 82 of the prayer book. Come, let us sing, sing to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let, Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. So our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 99, and it can be found in your Book of Common Prayer on page 728. Psalm 99 on page 728. And 28. The Lord is king. Let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. O mighty king, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud they kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who for, okay. forgave them, yet punished them not uh, for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verses 29 through 35. 
Exodus chapter 20, 34, verses 29 through 35. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands, he was not aware that his face was radiant because he had spoken with the Lord. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, his face was radiant, and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them. So Aaron and all the leaders of the community came back to him, and he spoke to them. Afterward, all the Israelites came near him, and he gave them all the commands the Lord had given him on Mount Sinai. When Moses finished speaking to them, he put a veil over his face. But whenever he entered the Lord's presence to speak with him, he removed the veil until he came out. And when he came out and told the Israelites what he had been commanded, they saw that his face was radiant. Then Moses would put the veil back over his face until he went in to speak with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us gather canticle number eight. Page number 85. Let us say together. I will, I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord is my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Testament is from Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 21. Chapter 1, verses 13 through 21. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body, because I know I will soon put it aside as the Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me, and I will make every effort to see that after my departure you will always be able to remember these things. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, in whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice, and came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also had the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it, as to a light shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, 
but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us say together Canticle 19. Page 94. <coughs> Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler, ruler of the universe, universe Lord God, great, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament, our Gospel reading, is from Luke chapter 9, verses 28 through 36. Luke chapter 9. Verses 28 through 36. About eight days after Jesus said this, he took Peter, John, and James with him and went up onto a mountain to pray. <clears throat> As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor talking with Jesus. They spoke about his departure, which he was about to, to bring to fulfillment at Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were very sleepy, but when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As the men were leaving Jesus, Peter said to him, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. While he was speaking, a cloud appeared and covered them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. A voice came from the cloud saying, This is my son, whom I have chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, they found that Jesus was alone. The disciples kept this to themselves and did not tell anyone at that time what they had seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe, believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, Son our Lord. Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On, On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffragist A. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And give us of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. 
During this time now, we invite you to send in your prayer requests and uh, we will pray for them. Should we miss any, they will are sent out weekly uh, to all of the prayer partners and uh, are prayed for. So let us pray. O oh God, who on the holy mount revealed to chosen witnesses your well-beloved Son, wonderfully transfigured in raiment white and glistening, mercifully grant that we, being delivered from the disquietude of the world, may by faith behold the King in his beauty, who with you, O Father, and you, O Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, who divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Father, we come to you as your children. We thank you for this blessed day. We thank you that you bring us through the night, that you give us life, every beat of our heart, every thought of our mind. We thank you that we can come and submit ourselves to you today, that we can come and humble ourselves before you, that we can take great comfort in your sovereignty, in your omnipotence, in your all-knowing. We thank you that you hold this world and indeed you hold our lives in the palm of your hand. We thank you that all of our days are written in your book. We thank you that to live is to cry is in Christ and to die is gain. We thank you Lord that that we you hear our prayers and that we are so privileged to come and offer them up to you. We know that where two or three are gathered in your name, you're in our midst. And so, Father, we bless you and we praise you for who you are. Who can compare with our God? There is none like you. Lord, we lift up our world to you. We repent on behalf of those who shun you, who do not believe in you. We repent on behalf of your church for its lack of prayer and service. We repent for our grieving of the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, Lord, for those things that we don't do, the things that we don't remember. Forgive us, Lord, for our weakness and be our strength in our weakness. We ask special prayers today uh, for Tressie as she's on an errand this morning. <clears throat> 